reports return of Apple already testing an iPhone with a bigger display. Samsung talks about the compatibility of their Galaxy Gear with other phones, and BlackBerry is already in a desperate need for a buyer. I'm Jaime Rivera, and seriously, think about it. If we saved up some money and got together, we could probably even buy that company. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the interesting news as Samsung has already confirmed that their version of the Galaxy S4 with a Snapdragon 800 processor and LTE Advanced will be deployed to Europe. And the reason why is because there are some carriers that are already confirming that they will be bringing LTE Advanced to their market. So it's hard to tell you exactly which carriers these are. Just make sure you call your carrier and find out if they're bringing LTE Advanced. And yeah, this is probably a very bad time to buy a GS4. And if you thought that Microsoft was going to halt the production of a next version of the Surface just because of the fiasco of the first one, well, think again. Apparently, the company is already working on a newer one, and it probably will retain the same design just to be able to sell those old housings and just bring new specifications. And as it turns out, the company is also innovating with the touch cover as they're now bringing a battery integrated into it to provide more power to the Surface, which kind of definitely makes sense. I wonder what took them so long. Now, a company that's really struggling is BlackBerry, so much so that their market share is pretty much on the floor, and the Wall Street Journal is already reporting that high-level investors and even sources are confirming that the company is looking for a quick auction as early as November of this year. And it's hard to know if the future buyer of the company is actually going to keep the platform, so if you're currently rocking a Z10 or a Q10 and you could probably return the phone, this is probably a good time. We're not really sure what's going to happen to the platform, and especially because we don't know who the buyer is. And if this buyer is HP, you know where that's going. Now, believe it or not, new reports have Apple testing more prototypes of a future iPhone with a bigger display. And apparently the company is testing phones as big as six inches, which I do doubt that'll ever reach the market. We know that Apple is one of those companies that loves prototyping. And even if we find prototypes in the market of a device being tested, that doesn't necessarily mean that the company is ever going to bring it to market. So it's really hard to know. And yeah, we'll most probably not see it this year since their event is on September 10th. Most probably not next year. Let's see what happens. And finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you considering the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 or the Galaxy Gear can pre-order it tomorrow on Verizon Wireless. Yes, thank you, Lord. This is not an AT&T exclusive, even though we don't have any specific dates as to when you can pick it up. Now, in the case of the Galaxy Gear, Samsung's already talking about compatibility. Apparently, their idea is to make it compatible with as many phones as they can, but wait, get this. Apparently, these phones have to be compatible with Samsung's APIs, which is kind of tricky. And as it turns out, you need Android 4.0 3, and you need Bluetooth 4.0 LE, so that even rules the Galaxy S4 out of the picture because even though you do have the version of Bluetooth, you don't have Android 4.3, and if you have a carrier variant of the Galaxy S4, that's going to be even trickier. So that leads you to the question of the day. After knowing all the compatibility problems of the Galaxy Gear, meaning if you don't buy a Galaxy Note 3, the watch is pretty much useless, are you still getting it or are you waiting to see what happens? In my particular case, honestly, I still don't even know if I want that watch, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world, make sure you follow us on fuckingnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.